afternoon. I'm Alicia Smith and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Demonstrators not staying at home, driving to Lansing instead today, staying in their cars, protesting outside the Capitol, accusing Governor Gretchen Whitmer of crossing the line with her executive orders. Some of them insisting the stay at home orders are unconstitutional. The governor is also fighting a lawsuit from four people who are upset with her plans. Workers with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are almost finished converting the Suburban Collection Showplace into an alternative care facility or field hospital. This is the region's third largest convention center. It'll house 250 hospital beds. That is smaller than the originally planned 1,100 beds, but organizers say they are not scaling back. The additional 850 beds will be brought in as needed. The IRS launched a website that should allow you to track your stimulus check. It will tell you if it's been delivered and which bank account it was deposited in. And if you have not yet seen your money, the website will tell you if the agency needs more information to send your check along. And you can find the Get My Payment website on our website, WXYZ.com. Hallie? Snow showers expected into the afternoon may mix with a little rain at times, but temperatures are going to be cold, especially for this time of the year. We should be near 60. We'll be in the 30s for highs this afternoon and feeling much like around 30 for our wind chill. It does look dry, still cold, though, for Thursday in the 40s and mid-40s. And yes, could see another round of morning snow showers on Friday. The weekend does look milder. Temperatures back into the 50s.